So I have Dr. Vimal. He told me I didn't even have to try his last name. Submarian, which I probably messed up. He's the vice president and CISO of Q Health. With his proven expertise in information and security, he's passionate about helping organizations, organizations mature their information security programs to manage information security risk with the balance between tight controls and operational effectiveness. It's seldom black and white balancing these principles while keeping an even keel can sometimes, as you all know, be more than an art form of science. With that in mind, he's demonstrated experience effectively developing and implementing numerous highly effective security programs with support from all levels of management. He uses his information security risk management in an arena to help organizations achieve their business goals with their remaining secure for their customers, employees, and shareholders. Today, he is speaking on unlocking your cybersecurity potential, maximizing value of your organization. So let's welcome Dr. Vimal. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Thankfully, you know, I'm not uh, bothering you during your lunch time. You are almost done. Did you get your dessert? Not yet? Okay. So, you don't have to write anything, so it will be fun for you because you can enjoy your dessert and, you know, while listening to me. I'm not going to uh, drag or force you to look at me or look at the slides or anything. Okay, where is the clicker? Okay, there is uh, nothing new. It's, I'm just uh, consolidated things we already know. And uh, since th this is during lunch time, I want to make sure I don't want to bore you. Okay, that's what I'm trying because you will, uh, after a heavy meal, you are going to sleep anyway, right? So I don't want to disturb you during, you know, whatever you do, okay? And um, don't worry, I'm not going to judge you how you eat, what you eat, okay? Okay, so today we are going to uh, discuss about how can we unlock our potential to provide, uh, to increase our value to the organization, right? That's what I'm going to discuss. Uh, before getting into that, I would like to start with Over here, maybe? Okay, I'll, I would like to start with my sincere gratitude to the event organizers. It's a feature con. I would like to thank Kim and team for inviting me to speak in front of you. And I also would like to thank our sponsors who made this possible. Without sponsor support, we may not be able to be here, right? Assemble here. And I also would like to thank all of you. This is end of the year, Q4. We have a lot of work to do, right? We have, you know, a lot of goals that we need to achieve by end of this year. And uh, we are all busy during this time, but still you made it here today. Thank you, everyone who is here and who is also watching remotely. Thank you all. And then I also would like to thank my organization for letting me participate in this event. And I would like to take this moment to thank all my previous managers, current manager, my mentors, my peers, my friends, my family members, everybody. So um, I am here. I think that I am successful only because all of them, okay? I think you might have uh, done some Googling about me before coming to this meeting. If not, um, most of the guys from East Coast did a lot of search, you know, West Coast guys, I don't know what's wrong with you. <clears throat> Nobody looked me up. So, okay, at least, you know, you should look me up now, okay? This is my QR code. Look up, you know, look at my LinkedIn profile. You will see my professional summary, but you won't know anything about me, okay? So I have about uh, 28 years of industry experience, uh, worked in various uh, business sectors, finance, uh, healthcare, education, entertainment, and so on. 
and i worked uh, with a number of uh, ceos and uh, leaders in the industry i gained lot of insight i thought you know everybody talks about lot of buzzwords today i am not going to talk about any buzzword uh, since this is a cyber security a conference i got to use the security word okay so you can replace this word security with any trade like sales marketing or anything technology or anything okay um okay let me move on quick here is the you know short agenda agenda is very short let's start with first you know examine who we are okay what are our strengths what are our areas of improvement what are our values and uh, what motivates us on a day to day basis what makes us happy in life then we go from there to align our goals with organizational objectives organizations hire us not because you know you have a degree uh, you know doctoral degree in information security or you have this many number of certificates and so on right organization has a need they want you to fulfill their needs that's why we are all employed okay so we need to basically align how we i are going to align ourselves our personal goals with organizational objectives that's what we are going to see then we are going to look into circle of influence circle of influence is a concept you know you may have heard about it uh, it was you know coined by stephen r covey in one of his book you know you can you know uh, read the book if you want to have more information i just took a synopsis of that i am going to present that one we normally when we say that you know we want to do networking we always look externally we don't do internal networking in fact you know i was talking to one of the colleague uh, before the lunch we don't spend i asked him you know um, how how old is your son and which grade he is in he was thinking okay i was not bad i at least know what which grade my daughter is going i had to think about the age okay but i remembered the grade he was not even able to tell me about the grade okay um so we first need to spend more time internally at home internally within our the organization we work and then expand our networking skills externally okay then from there we'll talk about how do how do we uh, push a square box in the uphill how how are we going to convert that and smoothen it so that it become the circle and make our life easier Th- that's what we are going to see then followed by innovation what innovation plays in our role especially and then finally since it is a cyber security conference so how can we master cyber security okay uh, let's go so just a reminder i don't work for nasa or spacex or any organization of you know that deals with spaceship i work in a healthcare organization okay so since we are all in information security and technology industry communication is key right so satellites and everything is and i thought you know this is cool and uh, when i came up with an idea i asked uh, Uh, one of my colleague anshul hey anshul i i have this concept i need some graphics can you help me so he helped me with this graphics okay all credit goes to anshul here okay so let's start with uh, self awareness self self awareness is you know all about understanding of our thoughts feelings our strength areas of improvement what our values are and then finally what motivates us right we we all know that right so let's start with the first we start with self assessment self assessment is basically look into so basically you have to table write down what are your strengths in one column then write down what are the areas of improvement in another column okay so once you know your skills what you are good at and once all, uh, once you know what you need to learn or what you need help with from other other people 
we can focus on that one right so that you know how can we add more value to ourselves so once we know our strengths weakness self awareness is not about what skills or qualifications we have it goes beyond that values what are our values if we if you are a guy who is you know who needs perfection or anything in everything you do then you need to choose a industry wisely right if you go and work in a small organization they may not have best in class maturity right in any program they may have you have to be mindful maybe a larger organization we hope that you know they have mature process in place you never know right so values what what values we have that is very 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 important integrity right and so on so let me introduce uh, one of my former colleagues not here okay um let's call him tim tim basically every day he cycles to the railway station from the railway station he takes again a bike to ride it to the office on a day to day basis for number of years one day i asked him hey tim you know why are you doing it you know do you you make this much money you are making lot of money you are in software team you are making lot of money what's wrong with you why can't you be a normal human being right have a car and drive to office and it, your house is about 10 miles you are taking one and a half hours to come to office why then he said no i am saving the planet through sustainability okay so for him that is important he is saving lives so the company he worked is a pharma company where i also worked together the organization mission was to save life provide quality of life for terminally ill uh, cancer patients uh, that's what uh, the company's mission is all about right so i think you know you might have um, seen somebody like uh, tim in your life maybe it's you you know maybe it's you right so um, perhaps it all of you why because what are we doing here we are protecting the digital world okay now everything is digital right our world is we are we are living in digital if the internet goes off for a day what happens the world will stop right so we are protecting digital world thereby we are saving lives right and uh, you know uh, many devices are attached to patients in the hospitals if in you know, the connections are not there they are going to die right so we have seen this thing during the pandemic covid pandemic right so we learned a lot during that time right so we are also in the life saving business so all of us are doing the same thing one farm or the other farm so let me go back to tim so tim since his values are converging with the organizational mission the guy is always motivated the guy is always happy okay so when your value converges with organizational mission and values that is a magic happens that is where you know the motivation happiness satisfaction comes at the end of the day you you leave home that you have done something right so you saved somebody if you are in health care you save somebody if you are in finance you gave somebody a peace of mind right and so on okay so values if you have if you align your values with the organizational mission then you will have motivation right you have motivation and then you have job satisfaction then you have quality of life you have better relationship at with at home right the same thing you should also follow that at home as well right with our own family members okay and let's start with uh, the next uh, thing is you know how can we align our you know goals um, with organizational objectives right uh, we spend lot of time spend lot of time and working on due to diligently on the goals whenever the hr like a you know clock around every year beginning of the year what do we do we hr asks us hey you need to have your manager asks right go and enter four goals or five goals 
in the hr system what do we do we spend lot of time understand that you know we are going to do this one that one do we ever care about our personal goal yes every new year we have some resolution i'm going to gym i'm going to do this one we don't follow through it no right most of the time so but personally where am i right now where i want to be what am i going to do personally uh, have you ever thought about it not much right not everybody so i think we should uh, uh, think about those things when you fly in an aircraft the flight attendant during the safety demonstration what do they say put on the oxygen oxygen mask first before helping others right so we should first take care of ourselves of course i am not saying that you should not take care of the organization by taking care of ourselves we are helping the organization that's where you know uh, i meant okay. so we'll start with uh, you know how can we align so basically how how can we align whenever you want to align your personal goals don't you know uh, my manager used to say hey we must think about the big picture okay so i walked around the hall where is the big picture here i don't see any big picture man right so big picture is basically organization object is right what object is you know uh, your organization yeah? what missions they have so all you have to do is if you don't know ask your manager ask manager's manager or c level folks whom over you know is aware of that talk to them see what is that graphics narratives they use when they talk to the board or somebody else customers right get that one understand what the mission is okay then you list all your organizational objectives in the mid- on the left then in the middle we are all cyber security guys so this is cyber security conference so in the middle identify the risk that is going to impact those objectives okay so what are the risk business risk in the business language okay we'll get that later identify those things then you come up with your goals what am i going to do to mitigate that risk so that the organization can accomplish the objectives okay so once you have that once you are able to establish a relationship then you can basically share that with your manager and you know the leadership team is going to understand oh okay this makes sense otherwise nobody knows oh i am a identity and access management you know um, director what does that mean nobody knows oh you are the password guy that's what they are going to say right <laughs> or, or you have to say in the elevator oh, i am the password guy or if you are working in security company oh you are the guy who is blocking all our thing oh you are the guy who is sending the phishing emails right so all those kind of thing right so you have to show that you know how you are aligned with your organizational objective that is you know very 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 important this is very small font i can't read it i need my glasses okay so all the goals has to be smart i think your hr must have talked to you about what is a smart goal all about right specific measurable actionable relevant and time bound right smart goals so all goals have to be smart you need to it is basically a flight path you know right if you don't have a proper path your rocket won't land at the destination it is going to go somewhere else right so you have to have a smart goal for whatever you do then you need to collaborate escalations won't take you anywhere so you can keep complaining 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 at the end you know you have to do do, do your work right you have to get uh, you know coordination and cooperation from other people right so don't escalate i i am a vp of this organization you do whatever i ask you to do i can't say that right we are a servant to the our uh, business folk, folks right so we basically we are here to serve them so coordinate with people with without coordination it is going to be challenging so focus on coordination suppose some you don't like somebody you are angry with that guy 
simple very simple at the end of the day before go to sleep forgive that person forgive them so you have one less thing to worry in your mind so you have quality of sleep your you know sleep quality will increase otherwise something will bother me this guy you know i wanted to implement you know by this date my otherwise my manager is not going to give me exceeded expectation in my performance evaluation how am i going to do all right forgive that person things are going to happen for good right if you have done something you know to somebody you can ask sorry but if i don't want to say in front of him sorry because my ego stops me you don't have to worry about it tell him sorry before go to sleep okay i'm sorry for what i have done <clears throat> in the past things change <clears throat> okay so we are all you know we are all equal that's how we should you know the position doesn't matter we are all you know colleagues and peers okay so focus on that and that will be definitely helpful so i am saying all this thing because <clears throat> personally i experienced it not only that i also talked to many leaders i worked with number of ceos and you know leaders in the industry and ask them and they also mentioned that they have follow these principles the six principles that's why i thought you know i will share since you know i learned a lot from this principle i thought i wanted to share with you okay um then i'll go to what is it small one measure progress right so measuring the progress is i'm sorry okay so i can't remember everything getting old okay measure progress is basically your kpis and kris okay if you don't check is the you know the route periodically whether or not you are going in the right direction maybe a meteor is you know a, a meteor or a space rock is on your way you have to do a course correction right so the kpis are kpis key performance indicators are going to be very helpful for you and uh, they are going to do a course correction and uh, are you able to hear me hear me right okay so kpis will definitely help you to adjust your path so that you can land wherever you are intended to okay and the last one is feedback 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 why we need feedback we talked about you know the goals right at the end of the year we are nearing the end do you know at least three people going to talk good about you when you ask them for a feedback because your managers may be asking you okay <clears throat> give me three names four names we need to send a 360 you know uh, review or feedback review or something do you have anybody establish a relationship if you coordinated with people if cooperated if you established uh, uh, a trust with your fellow colleagues definitely you can identify four people easily and have them you know be your uh, uh, referrals or you know somebody who gives you feedback right so that is very very important ask you know at the end of the project ask them for a you know period feedback hey what do you think that i should have done differently or what we should have done differently if you don't want to use that word i what we should have done differently okay focus on that and get that one update yourself correct yourself uh, that will be you know very helpful for our life so with that okay so uh, let's talk about what is this one circle of influence right we talked about circle of influence so circle of influence is very 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 important because of this reason we talked about um we we talked about reference and we also want somebody who speaks on our behalf to the leadership team right so nobody knows if you are sitting in a cubicle or in the office and lock yourself out the door behind yourself what happens nobody knows you nobody knows there was a guy in my previous work you know he used to come every day he closed the door as soon as he get into the office he closed the door he was my neighbor i don't know what he was doing okay two weeks he was there and uh, you know the door was permanently closed he was no longer there in the office okay so you, you don't want to be that person you we want you 
and we want uh, we want everybody to know us right okay if you are a, if you are a person who does not like the spotlight i'm sorry the lights are already on because you are in cyber security field right people know you right people need to know you cyber security is no longer a cost center overhead or speed hump we uh, generate revenue okay i can give you 200 reasons why we can generate revenue and uh, how we are able to generate revenue and uh, how we earn trust so customers come to us because our security posture is good right so that is very e- important very very important so that's where the circle of influence is uh, important in our life okay networking we talked about networking so networking externally not only net externally internally network talk to people so software developer right or network administrator or a technology you know tech ops uh, guy marketing guy sales guy don't look at that title job title job role they have look beyond who is that person what that person is person's name is it mary or mario okay understand what the person who the person is once you build that kind of connectivity people will do anything for you and they are not going to jump into the well when you ask them to do but you know at least they will you will get your work done so get to know people do networking internally talk to them maybe i here i can you know um, give an example about my previous work um i was uh, tasked by my manager uh, we recently not in this company many year, many many years before we acquired a company um, the company was um, having a remarkable therapy uh, for cancer patients so we acquired that company my manager asked okay can you take the ownership of that security make sure you know uh they have all the bells and whistles and you know eventually fda will come for audit we need to get uh, some security certification you know so many things he said i said okay i went there i didn't know any of them the c level folks were tight lipped they didn't want to talk to me at all uh, because i'm security guy what this guy is going to do he is going to write down a long report and we have to go and fix it right that's what we do all the time right so i was uh, sitting in the uh, room in a meeting with all the c level folks the one of the person presented very passionately about the program they have it was a program uh, their their therapy is all about treating terminally ill people ill patients cancer patients who are in stage 4 they lost all the hope at this time okay now it is now it is our chance to save them so the therapy is all about drawing the blood from them pros bring it over you know it's a long process you know if you paint this entire wall with a uh, uh, white and you if you draw all those things you know that enter process is not sufficient it will flow to other walls okay that much complex process it is i'm making it simple here so they draw the blood and then bring it to the manufacturing plant process it train the white cells blood white cells to fight against the cancer multiply it put it back okay this trained cells go and fight against cancer cure the patients okay it's a you know very remarkable therapy right so that's why we purchased or acquired that organization so i was uh, you know responsible for the security so it was challenging for me to talk to those guys they were all you know nobody is forthcoming i was thinking then i in the hallway i met uh, the chief medical officer i met with her and i asked her hey you know what um, what do you do here seamens and i am the chief medical officer and all so i was asking okay i i was sitting in the presentation it was uh, you know uh, very nice can you please explain me what are the other process you do within this she was passionately explaining that one then she said oh okay we could have saved some time here but you know our technology is not supporting we have a limitation um we are not able to you know generate the output or result within hours it takes days 
then i asked uh, okay did you reach out to right it said you know we are already bought by somebody else so i don't think we can invest into anything okay i'm a security guy but you know i listened to the chief medical officer i went back to our corporate it talked to them um used my good will and then able to help them and so that uh, they were they are, they get the re- result in hours not a days so she became a security champion for me wherever i go in the organization she is the one who introduced me to all the folks so then i started developing relationship with everybody that is how i was able to you know achieve my goals okay to protect you know the organization and also from the organization in- initiative we were able to sustain with that one just uh, you know checking time that i am on time okay okay so networking is very important please you know focus on that and uh, the next one i i want to talk to you about i think i touched upon diversity little bit don't just talk to the people that you know normally talk to like technology or security only or you know few folks in that talk to everybody talk to everybody so that you get to know different perception people need to know you right everybody need to know what you do talk to hr talk to you know marketing talk to every department understand what they do what challenges they have try to solve them you know get them help you know so everybody is going to become your champions they are not only going to support your security initiatives but you know whenever there is a you know meeting in with the leadership they are going to say hey, this guy is doing a great job right so that's uh, you know we need somebody to tell us we are not going to be there in all the meetings but they are going to be in you know many meetings right so it is better that you know you develop that kind of relationship then when we normally network what happens when you you know connect with somebody sends a connection request in linkedin what happens when you accept if it is a vendor immediately they will say hey can we quickly meet we have awesome product okay can we quickly meet please right so instead of you know asking first give first give okay what value you want to give giving is first important only then you will get it right so when you say give we are all in security you know field we may not experienced all the challenges right what you know technology is facing we you know with with our limited experience right we at that time we may work only in one organization we may not have experienced many challenges so when you talk to other people when you are helping other person you get to know what challenges they are facing now you know by helping them to resolve that challenge you know that challenge you know how to resolve it if at all you experience you get that challenge you know how to fix it if somebody else is asking you now have the knowledge you can go and help them okay so first give by giving you automatically receive something this is not philosophy this is the actual fact right so i am not talking too much uh, philosophy here um lastly you know going global why global there is no boundary there is no geographical boundary these days right uh, in uh, cyber security where is the boundary do we have a wall we have a firewall not anymore identity is our new boundary right new perimeter is there so it is a digital world connect with anybody so that you get different perspective you learn something new culture you get you know new fresh ideas from other person so i engaged with somebody from belgium so the person connected with me so we started exchanging he became my you know guru you know my mentor now um on personal you know welfare now okay so like that you may find somebody okay so it will be helpful and he helped me to build a privacy program for our organization you know afterwards so you don't know what uh, you know you are going to get so expand don't confine yourself with 
uh, if you are in West Coast, just focus on West Coast, if you are in East Coast, not just focus on the West Coast, East Coast, right? Ex expand, okay? <coughs> that is very, very important. Let me take a pause, let me drink water, okay? Throat is dry. Okay, so networking is very, very, very important. Once you do networking, then what do you do? You basically learn more, and once you keep uh, learning more, you will be able to solve more, right? So if you choose any task, suppose for example, your manager is asking you, hey, um, I used the word Mario before, so let, let's go with Mario. Hey, Mario, you know, we are having, end of the year, we had to do an audit. There are 400 high-risk findings, you know, in our mobile app or web app. You need, to, you need to make sure the development team fixes it before the audit. It's a, you know, uphill task. It is a huge task, right? You don't know how you are going to um, fix all the findings. Initially, it is going to be very, very, you may think that, oh, this is too much. You will be stressed out, right? Over the period, you keep learning more and more about that, you Google it, how other, you call your, you know, phone your friend, your peers, or somebody who you already networked so far, call them and ask them how they fixed it, how they did that, you know, how they prioritized it, and all. Learn, once you start learning it, the square box with sharp edges are going to smoothen out. Once they smoothen out, things will have more clarity and you will, be, you will be able to solve that problem easily. It is going to be very, very uh, challenging initially, but you know, over the period of time, you are going to um, basically you will be able to solve that with others' help, okay? Then we talked about aligning your personal goals with organizational objectives. So, here I mentioned speak the language, right? So, it is not about Spanish or French or Italian or German or Tamil language, right? It's about speaking in business language. What is business language? Basically, we all speak the language of technology, right? That's what we think that that is the only thing we know but we need to start conversing, conversing language of strategy. That's what we should be doing. So, you have the organi organization objective, you tell them how your work is helping the organization to accomplish the, the organization mission or the objectives, they will be able to understand, okay? So, always have a relation with the uh, high-level objectives. Once you have that one, your manager is going to steal your idea. It's good, right? It's good. Because we want him to grow, so then we can grow, right? So, focus on that one language. Don't only talk about technology, technology, technology. Think beyond, okay? Look beyond that one. L lastly, you know, lead with solutions lead with solutions. So, go to the meeting, not with questions. So, as a security guy, as an auditor, I always like to ask questions from everybody. My manager once told me many, many years before that, hey, I heard this from the enterprise architect. He told that, you know, this guy Vimal, he's very mean because I used to wear glasses and, you know, I look mean, right? I look mean, right? So, I look mean. And, uh, but he means well. What do you mean? So, is that guy telling me good or bad? Right? So, we only ask, go to the meetings with questions, right? Of course, our intention is right. We want to secure the company. But, you know, don't go with only questions, right? When somebody sends a meeting invite, do homework. Google it. If you don't know, 
ask the person who scheduled the interview hey what is this what is that do you want from me understand the business need do your homework go with a solution if something is new phone a friend chat gpt or google board or anything right ask first you know try to understand yourself before going to the meeting when you go with ideas then it is going to be in your favor these guys are going to love you oh this guy this fred always comes with solutions all the time he comes with solution okay he is not a speed bump they realize you that as a partner rather than a show stopper right in our in our field in the security field this is very very important right so please don't ask questions prepare yourself very well because we want other people to speak about us right so so that our personal goals we achieve and we help the organization we are not a speed hum here we don't uh, delay anything right then we talk about innovation so innovation is like a, you know small spark small spark that basically produces a blaze to propel the rocket because we i have uh, i have that uh, you know picture of a rocket so let me use that uh, analogy here the innovation is very very important not only for it is not just for the creativity and stuff is used for arts and craft even for our own field creativity is very very important if you take a um, pen tester or a red team uh, person what is important they have to think out of the box right they have to work around the controls to break into your application break into the system so they have to think creatively they need to okay without creativity we won't exist right so without creativity all this you know whatever oh, we discovered so far you know we put uh, people on the moon we sent uh, uh, rockets and to mars and you know far away places right so creativity uh, plays a ma- major role so along with the creativity um, how does this creativity how does you know space x or you know become number one private entity in the, in their particular field did they uh, were they successful at the first time not really right they did many iterations they had many failures they experiment experimented multiple times so it's fall forward basically every time you fall use that as a launch pad jump into go to the next level okay so there is a saying fail fast learn faster so i am not asking you to fail all the time but if you don't try you are not going to learn anything about it right so try don't worry things happens right as long as you have a manager who is understand and you know who understands you very well you have a management support as long as you show the value of what you do the person is going to you know agree with you on that one so always try 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 don't hesitate to try and lastly customer you know customer centric approach customer first my mentioned about why organizations hire us organizations hire us because they have a need they what needs they have make money not really they have to fulfill customer needs only then they can make money to pay you right so customer first so far as everybody is customer everyone in the sense anybody outside our department is a customer it may be our customer technology uh, technology so since uh, we have uh, three different groups within the technology technology fold i keep saying technology is separate it and technology is same in most of the places okay so talk to the customers understand their needs try to you know uh, help them uh, with some solutions if as long as you keep the customer happy build trust with your customer that's what you know matters most so 
your uh, your slogan should be i my slogan for this year and last year is two things one is build trust facilitate facilitate is means basically you provide awareness to our le- your leadership team we are you know risk people right we only identify risk we tell them hey there is a risk it is up to them to take the risk and whether they want to accept the risk or they said okay we don't want to take the risk right it is up to them so let them decide so you have to facilitate and once you facilitate they will you basically build the relationship so once you build the relationship with your stakeholders and you earn trust that's it it is going to be there so but very importantly you have to nurture the you know relationship for a long time otherwise it is going to be uh, difficult right so please make sure to nurture the trust over a period of time so let's talk about <coughs> finally <coughs> i think i came to the last uh, section that is cyber security mastery okay i have time <coughs> i have 10 minutes okay fine 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 okay cyber security mastery because cyber security conference i got to talk about it and you can relate to any you know industry you are in any thing you are in continuous learning if we are not learning on a daily basis we become obsolete new new things you know comes a few years before we did not have chat gpt generative ai no generative ai is there everybody is jumping in you must have heard the news about the samsung developers they copy the code in chat gpt right so make sure you know you are on top the top of that you learn first before you know somebody uh, uh, you get to know from that something happened then you come to know about that one it they say that right you talk to your kid first before they learn from their peers right so embrace a new technology learn you know um, continuously continuous learning is very important uh, for our existence right then once you continuously learn it okay i can say that hey, i am i am master in artificial intelligence okay i am a master in you know uh, how to build secure architecture are you going to trust you are not going to trust me right i have to prove how am i going to prove by the means of certification get certification but certification doesn't make sense all the time but sometimes you know certification is like your badge of honor so that is required it is like you know your iso 27000 certification for your organization why do we need it because you can say that oh we have all these things we have everything but how the customer is going to trust you by means of third party attestation somebody is going to come and do audit they say okay these people have really you know have the process in place they secure your data okay so that is you know that's why they we have iso certification sac to hipa high trust what not right so similarly as an individual we should also along continuous learning get certification if you can at least the beginning of your career this is very 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 important certification is you know uh, important so it basically you know it's like access a campus and put you in the right direction okay and threat intelligence basically stay ahead right they they sometimes people say that oh you have to run faster than the slow moving person right no we don't want to leave him behind right we don't want to leave him behind if our neighbor's house is burning oh it's, it's only their house is burning are we going to keep quiet no we are going to take water in a bucket and go there right to help them so that's what we should be doing in for our industry we should help each other so we learn and uh, we gain lot of insights from that one okay so this this you can consider that as a radar so basically what does radar say radar do so it says that there is this obstacle here and there when you travel in the rocket you know okay there is a space rock comes you know is on the way then you can adjust your path right that is what you know threat intelligence does it so connect with you know uh, other networking um, groups 
you get to know so many things and also if you are a health care company join hisag if you are a finance join appropriate isag and so on so we gain lot of intelligence talk to vendors and partners without them you know they are they are helping us because their tools are running in our organization that's why we are here peacefully right so um, they are very helpful for us you know uh, partners are very uh, important for our success so get all the threat intel you can get just to not only you know uh, improve your value but also protect your organization okay and lastly cyber hygiene this is very 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 important right we uh, we spend a lot of time outside but we don't do much inside right so security problem is not about technology issue mostly people issue right so we had to start first clean up our house clean our mess you don't know it may not be mess at all you may think that it's a mess but people may have more better understanding than you do about them okay so talk to train your team members train your uh, uh, organization employees to make sure that they follow security hygiene whatever they do you know they have security in mind if you are doing phishing simulation on a monthly basis or quarterly basis what do you do if somebody clicks you add if you do you add any training i think the cloudflare um speaker was mentioning about it do you give them additional training you should not be right you want people to come to you with questions don't scare them with more training more work if somebody clicks on it send a email to them hey you know what this is what happened i know you are in a hurry you may have click okay give him benefit give him or her the benefit of doubt send a message second time pick up the phone talk to the person hey this is what happens and this is a second time so i want you to be mindful third time talk to them you have to put them through training for 30 minutes or so fourth time you have to talk to hr and see what you can do okay there should not be any fourth time don't scare people we want people to come so personally what i have done at q health is so we have a cyber security slack channel we want people to post questions in that channel so our machine operators who we think that not tech not tech savvy they themselves identify is able to identify what is a phishing email versus a genuine email okay so the more participation is going to be helpful how did i get, you know get there what i did is on a monthly basis i identified four people in the organization provided them with 25 dollar gift card and i just uh, put their names as security champions for the month you know you have seen in the costco walmart our employee of the month right so we have security champions of the month four people 25 dollar 100 dollar in a year 1200 dollar not much cost right we spend hundreds of thousands on tools and technologies and another hundreds of thousands on you know employee salaries right 1200 dollar per year nothing so i started in uh, providing them incentives showing them carrots okay if you are a good citizen to get that 25 dollar it's not that you post something in cyber security channel you first have to complete the training security awareness training whatever training it is assigned to you never click on the phishing email okay number 3 you should have helped or shown some kind of you know stewardship right then you get this 25 dollar so we started doing this over and over and over now i think you know we are in a better you know shape that's what i think okay touch wood is it wood okay so far everything goes goes good okay so that is very very important so focus internally train them we want them to come they are our eyes and ears you know um we ask them right all the time you know when you see something say something by saying them if we are going to penalize they are not going to come to us so 
please you know empower them to come to you to tell tell you you know what's in them ask ask for feedback end of the year or end of the month send them a feedback survey to select group of people what do they think of cyber security what the improvement they want to see okay you can tell them that it is going to be anonymous and uh, people are going to be very vocal and instead of you get to know at the end of the year employee engagement survey somebody talks bad about you you better know about that in in our front so you fix you adapt you evolve right so once we implement all these six principles i think not only you will reach your destination you are also going to carry the precious cargo your organization along with you here in that picture i think you see a cube right that is uh, my organization you can put your organization logo there you are free to use it okay and that's all i have for today thank you i just want to mention one thing suppose if you did not expect this if i offended you i'm sorry okay and uh, i want you to forgive you tonight forgive me tonight <laughs> any questions okay do we have any questions okay we do have a question over here hi right. so um the question that i have is how do we really creep up in terms of mdr and xdr right manage detection and response that we do within our enterprise to extended detection and response that we do within our enterprise how do we really um scale from a organization standpoint in terms of going from a mdr to a xdr very good question <clears throat> i don't think we talked anything technical here you joined late that's why you are asking a technical question that's fine okay mdr versus xdr if you want to scale it it depends right it, it depends upon organization to organization i don't know about your organization if you are a small shop maybe you may want to use a third party provider that's what i did i went with a rental car approach what do what do we do right when you go to a new place are you going to buy a car for a week no or a month no you are going to rent a car try it out even if you go to a new place you are going to rent a car to do, do a test drive for some time before you know um, arriving it so it's very challenging to um build a team that is very very important right right people to be in your team so if you have money if there is an urgency that something needs to be done you know use a third party who can help you to take care of your mdr xdr needs if you are internally you know if if you have cash issue you have to have those capabilities in house then you will have to look for some freeware tools for sim tool and but it's going to be very very challenging then you have to do a risk based approach okay what is the you know most value most valuable item i am going to protect focus on that personally i focus on the revenue stream i always focus on the revenue stream okay first i target that item i protect it before i expand my coverage that's what i think you should be doing did i answer your question yes. thank you any other questions anybody on the phone or you know on the no our virtual audience has been very shy today okay don't be shy you are in cyber security field right you should not be you are not going okay, to get promoted I, we have one more yeah. over here 
Yeah, I think uh, in the f first slide you said, you know, uh, you give and you get. Mm. Uh, so please explain more about that because a lot of people like find it very bizarre that, okay, you give and how do you get it back? Okay, so I am not telling that, okay, you give to this gentleman and you are going to get something in return from him. No, you are going to get it ultimately either through him or from somewhere. That's what I meant. So I gave also an example that, um, okay, if you have time I can say, one of the, you know, organization was compromised. You know, the CSO reached out to me and said, hey, you know, our organization is compromised, I need some help. I worked with him, I spent my weekends with him to understand what went wrong, we dig deeper, we identified the root cause, and we fixed it. And now, I gave him, but indirectly I gained the valuable insight how he got breached in the first place. How can I protect my organization from that kind of gap? Do we have that gap? Okay, first thing I did is I asked my team, hey, can you identify whether we have this particular gap? Okay, can you run a quick scan and see? Like, you know, move it. Move it is a good example, right? So. I asked my team, hey, do we really use move it or not, right? So like that, you know, you get it. It is not a tangible thing. You give him $100 and you get, you know, $200 in return. I did not mean it. Okay? You never know. Maybe he's giving you if he's rich. <laughs> Any other questions? One of the things I've noticed in my, in my organization is that there's a tension between security and operations, that, that I put security controls in place, they reduce productivity for the people who are trying to do their jobs. And, and my question is, what are some techniques that you have found in engaging with the organization to build buy-in for why people need to do the security inconveniences that you're asking them to do? It's a great question, right? So, over the period of time, security is always looked at overhead, speed hump, roadblock, and all, right? So, we are trying to change the myth, mindset, especially COVID helped us, all of us, right? How do you do that? If your organization is a regulated, regulatory requirements, okay? We need to meet the regulatory requirements. We, otherwise, we are going to have these penalties if we are not compliant with certain regulation, right? Our customers are asking, for me, I am fortunate so far in my life that everywhere I worked, I always had management support and money, whatever I wanted, okay? So I was able to get things done, but it's very challenging to get buy-in from other business leaders. I think that's what you are referring to, right? Not the money component. It's very challenging. We got to tell them that, okay, why we have to do it. Because if, uh, for example, you want to do something, the, um, the marketing team is pushing, then you have to tell them that if we do that, we generate, you know, uh, this kind of value, we build uh, trust, we earn trust from our customers. If, if the customers trust us more, you get more sales. You have to basically approach each and every individual differently and uh, convince them and bring them to your circle of influence to help you, you know, be successful. Did I answer your question? Thank you. We are actually past time, so the virtual is probably cut off. Okay. Thank you all. And I'm sure the keynote is...